Ladies and gentlemen, it's week three of the War Within, and we're going to look into Archon GG to see how the rankings of the healers have changed already. With the changes that are coming up live this week, we're going to mention those as we talk about the rankings. And what we're seeing on the screen right now is the Mythic Plus rankings for the healers. As you can see, Restoration Shaman is still very much up front. And uh, if we scroll down to the chart and uh, some by popularity, you're going to see that basically half of the people are actually playing uh, Restoration Shaman. Holy Paladin is second with uh, 12%, and I think they're going to remain there because there was a big scare that they're going to get nerfed, and uh, it was actually not uh, not insignificant nerf, 5%, but they reverted that back. So uh, I would expect that to remain uh, as is. I actually played a little bit Holy Paladin this week, and uh, it feels really nice. It feels really nice. Uh, the nerf definitely wouldn't have helped, uh, but um, without it, it's definitely one of the preferred classes. And then everything else is basically even. Uh, this priest has a little edge, and this is talking about keys from uh, the range 7 to 14, uh, but everything else is quite equal. And uh, if you look into the HPS, there's no not a big difference there uh, at all. Everybody can heal all the dungeons. That's not a problem. Of course, if you're a priest, you're handicapped a little bit because you don't have interrupt poison, the spells, etc. Uh, if we look into the DPS, which is this column over here, uh, this is why disc is actually higher in the charts because it can do a lot of damage. Uh, as you can see, it's the top class when it comes to damage, followed by the Preservation Evoker. Restoration Shaman is third in this chart, but it's going to drop even lower because uh, there was a nerf to the Acid Rain damage which is one of your main damaging components when you play Restoration Shaman Mythic Plus. So that would drop even lower and maybe it's going to hit a little bit the popularity as well. Uh, but it's still one of the best classes uh, if you want to heal and bug. So uh, I don't think that's going to, to change uh, significantly from that uh, regard. So nothing, nothing that changes much when it comes to a uh, Mythic Plus uh, environment. Let's switch to the rate. And uh, what we're seeing right now on the screen is the Mythic rate. Uh, Restoration Shaman still seems to be the most popular class. This chart is for uh, popularity. And then it's followed, of course, by Holy Paladin and uh, Priest. In this case, Holy Priest, because they bring the buffs that you need uh, for the Mythic rate. Uh, which is why those two classes are so high. And then we have the Preservation Evoker, which is uh, brought purely because of their HPS. This is getting a huge nerf as we speak, and it's very interesting to see how th this is going to shake up things. I think it's still going to be very dominant to heal with Preservation Evoker and consume flaming, flaming Raid, but you're definitely not going to be so much far ahead of uh, everyone else. Now, uh, if we switch to throughput, as you can see, obviously the preservation evoker is up there, but everything else is uh, pretty even. If we talk about Paladin, Holy Priest, Shaman, and Monk, and then the Druid and the Disc Priest are a little bit behind. Interesting to find out that there's no different, uh, there's no significant changes for Disc Priest, but the Druid is getting some buff, so their HPS uh, is going to go up a little bit. Is that going to make it uh, more prominent and present in uh, Mythic rating? I highly doubt that. Um, there's actually 7% uh, of people playing it right now. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I think that uh, you, you can get the buff right now by either bringing DPS Druids or um, Bear Druids. So that's not going to change much for Mythic rating. If we switch to Heroic Raids though, uh, which is this chart, right? Um, things are looking relatively the same. The Druid is a little bit more popular in uh, Heroic Raids because I guess it's not that hard to play, but you still have the Restoration Shaman, Holy Priest, and the Holy Paladin being the most popular classes. And then uh, the Evoker falls through here because I guess it's not that easy to play it and uh, it's, it's not that required to have that high of an HPS class in the heroic rate, which makes it drop uh, a little bit in uh, popularity. Now, uh, throughput wise, uh, the, the gap is still here. The evoker is still up front, but that's going to get changed as we discussed uh, already. And everything else apart from the disc priest and the druid is uh, even. Druid again going up. An another buff uh, that's coming to the druid healing. Uh, is it going to shake up things? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but 
it is uh, what it is. I would expect to see even more changes uh, with the Paladin getting some changes to their rate healing uh, primarily. And then uh, we're going to see how uh, it affects everything with uh, the Shaman nerfs potentially and maybe some changes coming up for this. So this is how things are looking after week three in the War Within. And uh, we're going to see how everything changes in week four. I'll see you then. Now bye-bye and get out of here.